Hey guys, it's Walker Diebel, author of I Then Build, creator of the Acquisition Lab. Listen, today, um, something very interested ha interesting happened in the public markets. Um, we're nearing the end of the day. Um, the S&P 500 is up uh, almost a point and a half. The industrial average is up almost a full point. The NASDAQ is up almost two points. Um, here's the thing. Everyone has been talking to me about interest rates and recession and all the rest of it and how recession's coming and how is this going to impact you know, buying businesses, you know, today or in the future. And the thing is, is that what I kept, frankly, saying is that economists are absolutely terrible at forecasting what's actually going to happen. Okay, um, just go look at it. I think I've even done a previous video on on the metrics. But the thing is, is like, you know, good things happen and bad things happen. That is the only certainty we have. Okay. And the thing is, is that like, if you have a job, okay, and you are working for a big organization or a small organ, you know, you're working for somebody else and you're not building your own asset. Is that really safer than if you take the risk of going out and, you know, controlling your own future, taking the risk of building your own asset, taking the risk of having your own business that you get to determine all of the, all of the decisions and strategic directions and, and hiring and firing and everything else. Okay. I don't think so. The point is, is even in a recessionary period, it hurts, okay? I faced bankruptcy at one point, okay? I, I had a, a book printing company. I was doing layoffs. The Great Recession was on. We had furloughs. I mean, I took my salary to zero. And it was not one of these, you know, Steve Jobs, you know, move my, you know, salary to $1 while I make a billion in stock over here kind of situations. It was, it was straight up tough. And, you know, these are people, like in, like in my MBA school, in my MBA classes, you know, the students, they always seem to forget that you're talking about people, right? And, you know, employee, longtime employees of the company that I bought, um, I ended up terminating, okay, laying off. And those times are hard. Uh, the truth is, is that there's also good times. And we've been in some lately, okay? And the thing is, is that you cannot predict. Uh, in 2013, I thought we were going into a, a recession. Um, in 2016, 17, I thought, we were, I thought Hillary Clinton was getting elected and we were going into a recession. What happened? Not that, okay? Uh, you cannot predict uh, what is going to happen, but in the mid to long term, everything always goes up. So everyone's been talking about interest rates, interest rates, interest rates. The Fed came out, raised rates again. The public markets are booming. Why? Because they feel like, I mean, the tre treasury uh, rates went down. So the thing is, is I don't know. I don't understand economics. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to go into that. But but the thing is, is that the markets are screaming that inflation is being handled and and being normalized by the Fed interest rates. Everyone's been freaking out that interest rates are up. Someone in the acquisition lab said to me, Walker, you've been buying for all of this time during interest rates going down, and it's like, well, sure, but I didn't know that's what was going to happen. Um, not only that, and here's the big thing. Here's the big thing. I don't think that we're facing one of these situations where the Fed is going to come out and try to, you know, completely stop the economy by raising rates to some obscene interest rate level, okay? A normalized, normalized interest rate, if you go back in time, is like 6%, okay? Um, and the thing is, is like, we're still not there. We're still low, okay? And, and what the Fed, in my opinion, has been trying to do is move rates back to 2019 levels because during COVID, during 2020 and 2021, we have been at interest rates zero. That is not sustainable. It is not normal, okay? Everyone has already gone out and refinanced their mortgage, okay, at zero, zero interest rates. And so the thing is, is that money has been absurdly cheap at a time where they were also printing more, okay? It's gonna cause inflation and we need to stop that, okay? And that's what the Fed has been trying to do. So, you know, is this crazy interest rates? They're still completely low. It's literally like going from zero to 0 0.1 or point, or sorry, 1.5 or two, right? Is where we are. So the thing is, is like, uh, you know, I could be wrong. I don't want to forecast anything so I'll be equally as bad as the economist. But the point is, is everyone always comes up with these plans for like a three to five year plan, okay? The only thing that's going to happen is your three to five year plan is not going to happen. There's going to be good things that happen. There's going to be bad things that happen. Jim Collins talks about return on luck, okay? And if you're out there hustling and making decisions and doing the things that are going to drive your company forward and build your asset and build your financial future and have an impact, okay, those are the things that matter. And the truth is, is that throughout, how long, how long do I want to go back? 
the history of the United States, you know, look, for the last century anyway, since the Industrial Revolution, the people that own assets, okay, are the people that are having impact and are the people that are building wealth, okay? And I don't care what else is going on. That needs to be the thing that we're looking at doing. That's why I wrote Buy Then Build. That's why I started buying existing companies. Um, and um, uh, so there you have it. I don't know. The point is, is we're just moving back to 2019 is what it looks like. So, so um, whether you're watching this video today in regards to what happened here today, uh, coming out coming out of COVID, or if you're watching this in the future, again, the point is, I don't care if interest rates are going down or going up, you've got to focus on building assets and asking yourself, what would need to be true in order for me to move forward with this acquisition, okay? If you're interested in buying a company in the next um, 12, you know, 12 to 24 months, um, check out the Acquisition Lab. Um, it is based on an anchor of world-class education, vetted uh, cohorts of people that can succeed, which is built a tremendously awesome uh, and, and high level community um, that I never could have imagined. I'm intimidated by many of the members. Um, resources, uh, extensive resources and um, uh, ongoing coaching. I think we've got, we currently have uh, six coaching calls for every 10 business day period, including uh, a search forum with me where we go deep on your deal. So looking forward to your application there. Um, thanks for tuning in. See you soon.